these alien-looking sprouts are actually very down-to-earth. Bathed in red light for optimal growth, they are corn seedlings. They're just one of the plants featured in these time-lapse movies. The goal? Figure out how to grow crops optimally suited to survive and thrive. We can't hope to improve a plant unless we understand it well. With support from the National Science Foundation, plant physiologist Edgar Spaulding wants to know what makes plants tick. He says the key is to study the function of each of the thousands of genes that make up their DNA. One way to do that is to collect images of plants that have those genes altered in some way. And by measuring how those plants grow and develop differently, we are able to infer the function of the gene that's been manipulated. Spalding has genetically modified each of these plants, so each grows slightly differently. Specially rigged cameras like these snap their pictures once every 30 seconds or so. Now these tiny roots are ready for their close-ups. And this robotic camera shoots dozens of roots at once. This is the result. We have made hundreds of thousands of measurements from thousands of different plants. Let's say we just had a ruler, yeah. uh, we'd be on number two, maybe. <laughs> the time-lapse movies are loaded into a computer. So you've isolated regions of interest on the upper and lower sides of the root. And an algorithm measures cellular growth rates in the root with pinpoint accuracy, as well as the angle and curvature of the root tip. By using so-called computer vision or machine vision to track their growth and development, we can get at the genes that control root growth, and those hopefully will have fundamental importance to crop improvement. It lays the foundation for uh, potential discoveries that will uh, help improve plants for human purposes. A root system that spreads to forage for water better would be an important improvement. Sowing the seeds for better crops of the future. Now that's an idea worth growing. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.